Hi, welcome. My name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, we're going to be creating some clamps uh, for my MFT style top workbench. So check out the video. So just recently I've upgraded my workbench with some dock holes to give me greater flexibility uh, in my workflow and ability to basically clamp material to my workbench. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above. I was just using a very simple jig that I've bought on eBay for um, a fairly a decent price. So check it out if you haven't seen it. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be transferring these um, very simple tracks or clamps that I've bought um, of one of the Chinese websites. So they've not been expensive at all. Obviously, you can make them yourself from wood, but I've got these, so I'm going to change these um, so they're actually able to uh, go into the dock holes. And also, I'm going to be uh, changing these toggle clamps, upgrading them a little bit and give them the ability to actually go into the dock holes as well and uh, give me the flexibility um, with clamping pressure. So let's crack on with it. First of all, we're going to tackle the cheap Chinese T-Track um, clamp. As you can see, I'm just taking it apart as we're actually not going to need all these things. But what we're actually going to need is a long threaded rod that we're going to be using as a base for this um, transformation. First of all, we need to determine how long our rod needs to be. And after that, I'm just going to be using my hacksaw to cut it to the right size. I will go with 17 centimeters um, to start with and I'll obviously adjust if that's not enough or too much. Next we need to measure about 5 centimeters um, from one of the ends of the threaded rod and at that point we need to bend um, the threaded rod to a 90 degrees. And now it's time to put everything together. Okay, so let's test it out. And there you go, steady as a rock. Perfect solution with cheap alternative. So there you go guys, very simple idea, um, so easy to make and it will add some additional features to this uh, cheap clamp. As you can see it works perfectly, if I ever need to revert these to be able to use them on the T-Tracks, um, basically I'll just go back to the old hardware I already got. So as you can see it's a very easy way of using these um, particular clamps onto a, a MFT style top. But let's carry on with the toggle clamps now. 
hard end. So what we're going to need for the toggle clamps to actually uh, be able to use them on our MFT table. Well, first of all, we're going to need a base and I'm going to be using this 12 mil ply. And for the dock, I'm going to be using a um, 20 millimeter round aluminium bar that I managed to pick up on eBay for about nine quid and it's a meters long. So you can imagine, you guessed it, there will be more projects with these bad boys because this is ever so cheap to make yourself. So if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel as there will be more projects using this bad boy in the coming few weeks. But let's carry on. First of all, we need to cut to the plywood to the right sizes. It's just gonna be a small footprint for the toggle clamps to attach to. And to do that, I'm using my miter, so as you can see. And the round aluminium bar needs to be cut to the right size as well. I'm going for five centimeters in length. And as you can see, I'm using my uh, miter saw as well. And now it's time to pre-drill a hole in our um, um, aluminium dogs. Uh, obviously, you need to make sure you're in the center of them. And now it's time to pre-drill some holes in the plywood bases. Okay, so now it's time to put them together. As you can see, I've made the holes a little bit bigger from uh, both sides basically to hide the heads of the bolts uh, so they're not sticking out. And there you go, as you can see, very simple construction. Um, obviously, you can countersink that and the screw bit could be inside of it, but uh, I've got no need for it. I think it's uh, as simple as possible, as quick as possible. Right, let's see how it works. Solid as a rock. Right, and so as you can see, really nice and simple way to actually get some additional clamps 
for your MFT tabletop. I'm really pleased with the toggle clamps that came out really, really good. Same with the um, T track um, clamps that, well, they used to be T track clamps, now they're going to be my uh, MFT tabletop. Obviously, that's what you can do in your workshop, really easy to do, as you can see. But that's not everything that's coming for this MFT style workbench. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Drop me that like button down below if you did enjoy this video. And I'll see you next time on my next woodworking adventure. Till then, take care.